Live at five, a Georgia man is pleading for one more chance just 24 hours before he's set to be executed. Atlanta News first anchor Sean Gables is live at five with new details about the state's first execution. This will be the first one in more than 14 years. It's the first one in 14 years, Blair. Tory, this is William James Pye. Take a close look here. He was convicted and sentenced to death for the 1993 murder of his girlfriend. Tonight, his attorney putting together a last minute effort to stop his execution. Pye had a clemency hearing today. It has just been denied. This is breaking. We just got this into our Atlanta News First newsroom. His attorneys argued that he was intellectually disabled, had an IQ of about half the nation's average. Pye's attorneys also say he faced profound poverty and violence when growing up and suffered from fetal alcohol syndrome. Pye had an on and off again romantic relationship with the victim. In court, there were gruesome details about her rape and murder that came to light that led to his death sentence. Pai's attorneys do not deny his guilt, but they argued that because he is disabled, he should not be eligible for execution. However, again, as we've just learned in our newsroom, that request has been denied. Pai is set to be put to death by lethal injection tomorrow. Tori Blair, back to you.